five frumpy fashion mistakes that I see women making all the time. Don't get me wrong, I've probably been guilty of making a few of these mistakes, so don't feel bad if you've made these. But in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the five most common fashion mistakes making you look frumpy, and to combat those, I will be sharing five easy style tips that you can practice every single day that will make getting dressed so much easier for you and they are guaranteed to take you from frumpy to fabulous and trust me when I say ladies these are easy steps these are things that I do every single day they're quick they're easy but they honestly make the world of difference and I promise they will elevate all of your looks this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna be showcasing four key pieces. And the first way I'm gonna style them will be showing the frumpy way to wear that piece. And then I will be styling that exact piece two additional ways that are super fabulous and super stylish. So I can't wait to share these four amazing pieces with all of you. Before I get started, I would like to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Lily Silk is one of my favorite online destinations they have the most amazing clothes. Everything is very high quality. They also carry pillowcases and silk sheets and silk pajamas, silk blouses, silk skirts. They have the best cashmere. And what I love about Lily Silk is everything is very high quality, like I said, but the best part is everything is also very budget friendly. Make sure you listen to this entire video because the last fashion mistake is probably one of the most common that I see women making. And the style tip that I'm gonna be sharing along with it is an easy tip that will literally take you two seconds and it will make the world of difference. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first fashion mistake that could be making you look frumpy that I see women making a ton is not tucking in their shirt. It's sort of a misnomer out there that if you're bigger around the waist that you shouldn't tuck in your shirt, you should leave it untucked because that's gonna camouflage that area. But actually what that does is, is it actually makes you look bigger than you really are. So even if you do have a little bit of a bigger waist, no worries, doing the half tuck is better than not tucking your shirt in at all. As you can see, I'm wearing this amazing caramel v-neck sweater from Lily Silk. It's ribbed, it's wrinkle-free, and I love this rich sort of caramel slash rust shade, perfect for fall and winter. But as you'll see, wearing it untucked is super unflattering. It doesn't accentuate my waist at all. It just looks frumpy. I just don't look like the best version of myself. However, if I tuck in this fabulous v-neck sweater from Lily Silk, into this beautiful silk skirt. This one is also from Lily Silk. It is a gorgeous silk midi skirt. I love the sexy slit up the side. It's also high-waisted, so it's gonna do a great job of sort of elongating the bottom portion of your body. And midi skirts are one of my favorite types of skirts to wear, especially if they're more on the form-fitting side. This will allow you to look the opposite of frumpy. In fact, you will look very modern, very chic, and very polished and put together. But because I tucked in the sweater, as opposed to wearing it untucked, I'm creating a look going from frumpy to fabulous. And that brings me to fashion mistake number two, and that is making the wrong shoe choices. So anytime you wear a big chunky black shoe, you shouldn't wear that with like light colored pants or you know, a dress or something like that. Like I've seen women wear light colored dresses with black chunky shoes and nothing could look more frumpy. So ditch the black chunky shoes, ditch the shoes that aren't very feminine looking and instead opt for a heel of some sort. It doesn't have to be a stiletto, don't worry. It can even be a kitten heel. It can even be a block heel. It can even be a wedge, but anything is more fabulous and more modern and chic looking than a big clunky black shoe. So as you'll see, like I mentioned a second ago, when I wore this caramel sweater untucked with that fabulous black silk midi skirt, and when I paired it with the black chunky boots, this look just appears very frumpy. I also have a large handbag. Like this is not very stylish. I definitely don't look like the best version of myself. But when I ditched those chunky ankle boots and opted for the beautiful, dainty, and feminine Stuart Weitzman ankle strap heels, I tucked in my sweater. I instantly went from frumpy to fabulous. 
Another way to style the beautiful black silk skirt from Lily Silk is with this amazing cropped blazer. This is an ivory and gray shade. I love these two colors mixed together and then paired with black. I did a simple black bodysuit. And then as you'll see, this beautiful black midi skirt looks amazing with this blazer. I love how it looked with the sweater, but it also looks really fabulous with the blazer. As you'll see, this black midi skirt, it's so versatile, it's so timeless, it can be worn in so many different places in so many different ways, which is why this hero piece, this amazing black midi skirt from Lily Silk is such a great wardrobe staple that I think will go a long way in any woman's wardrobe. And if you style it the right way, you will not look frumpy at all. You will be guaranteed to look very modern, very chic, and very fabulous. I also went with some M. Jimmy pumps. These are beautiful, just a very simple black pump. They are a three inch heel, so very wearable. They're also a pointy toe heel and they're not like a big chunky boot. So I'm not gonna look frumpy when I paired a pair of classic black pumps with this outfit. I also did my go-to timeless and versatile Chanel handbag. This is a black on black handbag. I love it. It isn't too big. It's the perfect size for day or night, and I really love the way this outfit turned out. You could wear this look to the office. You could wear it out at night for like a girl's night or a date night. It's honestly perfect for so many different occasions. All right, that brings me to style mistake number three that could be making you look frumpy. And this one I may get a little pushback on, but it's just my honest opinion, and that is anytime you carry a large handbag, you're just gonna make yourself look a bit more frumpy. Now I get it if you have small kids, if you're going to the office, like you should definitely carry like a larger bag, you know, like it's a briefcase or it's a baby bag. Like I get that, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you're going out, you're being intentional, you don't have kids with you, you're not going to the office, you just really wanna look stylish and have fun and look amazing and modern and chic, I would carry a smaller handbag. So as you'll see, this is a large YSL handbag. I carry this carry-on bag when I'm traveling on an airplane or something like that. That's okay. But if I'm going out, I would never carry this bag. Instead, I would carry my smaller YSL bag. This is my YSL hobo bag. I carry it a ton. It's a beautiful crock embossed black leather. It has the beautiful gold Lux YSL emblem. This is just a classy bag. It doesn't look frumpy at all because it's not big, it's not oversized. So definitely get rid of the oversized handbags, ladies, and opt for a smaller bag. So as you'll see with this outfit, I tucked in this beautiful caramel sweater, the one I spoke about earlier from Lily Silk. I tucked it into these amazing jeans. These are from Express. I love the front seam down the front and the ankle slit also on the front of these jeans, allowing them to show off your favorite pair of heels. These jeans are high-waisted with a straight leg and they're just a great way to make your legs look longer and you look slimmer. I also really love this edgy faded black wash. Because I tucked in my sweater, because I added a belt, and because I'm carrying a smaller handbag with this outfit, I took this look from frumpy to fabulous. I also decided to top it with a third layer. That's another way that you can easily up your looks and elevate them, taking them from frumpy to fabulous. This is a gorgeous, faux leather blazer, it's black, it's such a great blazer, it's a great color, it's timeless, it goes with so many different things, it has a great fit to it as well. I always love wearing it just regular, but you could also drape it over your outfit if you wanted to show more of your silhouette. But as you can see, when I carried this smaller handbag as opposed to the larger handbag, I definitely took this look from frumpy to fabulous with just some easy, simple steps. All right, style mistake number four that could be making you look frumpy is choosing clothes that are too big. So as we age, as we get older, maybe we gain a little bit of weight, that's okay, that's completely normal. But what you shouldn't do is try to wear clothes that are too big to hide that extra weight. What this ends up doing is actually making you look bigger than you really are. So this dress is a little bit too big on me if I were to not belt it. But because I belted this gray, amazing dress from Lily Silk, which by the way, you guys, this dress is so comfortable. The material is so soft, it's wrinkle-free, it's like a light knit material, it is ribbed. 
It looks way more expensive than it really is. It feels luxurious on. It's very high quality. And because it's gray, it's honestly gonna go with so many different things. I'm gonna show you all two ways you can wear it. But the frumpy way would be not belted because it's too big. It just sort of doesn't flatter my figure. Carrying the large handbag, wearing those chunky black boots, like this is frumpy, ladies. Don't wear the dress like this. Instead, I would belt the dress. What this does is it really does a great job of accentuating my waist, taking this dress from being too big to fitting me perfectly. I also topped it off with a jacket. So this is an amazing Alice and Olivia quilted black faux leather jacket. This reminds me of a Chanel jacket because it's quilted just like a Chanel bag. But instead of being like 2000 plus dollars, this jacket is very reasonably priced. And I really loved the way it looked over this fabulous gray dress from Lily Silk. And then instead of doing the boots, I ditched the boots and I added those Stuart Weizman dainty heels. Perfect, I love the way these ankle strap heels look with this outfit. And then I grabbed my small YSL bag as opposed to the large tote. And as you'll see, just making those maybe four or five subtle changes, I took this outfit from average, from frumpy, from painful, to fabulous, to modern, and to chic. So it's really not that hard, ladies. Just a few little tweaks, and you are guaranteed to elevate all of your looks. Another way to wear this fabulous gray dress by Lily Silk is topping it off with this snake print jacket. This one is by Veronica Beard. It's also a fitted jacket. Um, it's a bit on the cropped side, so I really loved the way it looked with this amazing knit dress from Lily Silk. I love pairing a snake print with neutral shades like gray and black. I think it just really creates a modern and chic look, perfect for so many different places. I belted the dress, I added the dainty heels in my smaller handbag, and as you'll see, this look went from frumpy to fabulous in just a few easy steps. So really love the way this look turned out. Perfect to wear to the office, you could wear it to church, you could wear it to Sunday brunch, like the possibilities are endless because this gray midi dress from Lily Silk is so versatile and so wearable. Okay, this is tip number five, and this is the one that I see women making a ton, and I have actually been guilty of this as well, but that's when you don't match your shoes to your pants. This will make you look frumpy because it makes your legs look significantly shorter. As you'll see when I wore the ivory jeans with those chunky black boots, my legs looked shorter, plus the outfit just doesn't look it just looks off. It just doesn't look very modern. And honestly, it looks a bit frumpy. But if I match my shoes to my pants, it's gonna look a lot better because it's going to elongate my legs. It's going to make my look appear more modern. It's gonna make my look appear more chic. So what I did is I took off the boots and I added these fabulous metallic heels. These are by Sarah Flint. And you can see they just sort of blend into the ivory jeans. You don't have to wear the same exact color. So you don't have to wear ivory shoes with ivory jeans. You can wear ivory jeans just because they're a lighter shade. Choose a lighter color of shoe, whether that be beige, nude, silver, gold, and the same thing goes if you're gonna wear darker jeans, like when I had on those black express jeans earlier. If I were to wear white shoes or ivory shoes or light beige shoes with those jeans, it would have broken up my legs, making them look shorter and making me look more frumpy. So think of it this way. When you wear dark pants or jeans, you need to wear dark shoes. When you wear lighter pants or jeans, you need to wear lighter shoes. So that little tip will make all of your outfits appear more fabulous, appear more modern, and it will also make you appear taller and thinner. So like I mentioned, the frumpy way to wear these ivory jeans and this gorgeous cashmere camel sweater, also from Lily Silk, which by the way has a detachable hood. So I'm so in love with this cashmere sweater. It's a great gift. I think I'm gonna get one for my mom. I'm gonna get one for my daughter this Christmas. Um, I love this color. It does come in several different shades, but I really loved this beautiful camel shade. And I love wearing cashmere in the fall and winter. I don't know about you guys, but if I were to leave this sweater untucked, if I were to wear it with the ivory jeans and the black boots and the large handbag, I would look frumpy. I just wouldn't look like the best version of myself. But when I tucked in the sweater, even though it's just a half tuck, when I added the belt, when I took off the black boots and I added the metallic pumps because they blend in with my pants, making my legs look longer, 
And then I added a beautiful chocolate brown leather blazer. I took that average frumpy look to fabulous in just an instant with those easy style tips that I've talked about throughout this entire video. So as you'll see, these, these tips are not that hard to implement, ladies. You just kind of have to be intentional. You just kind of have to think about them every morning and you do them and I promise you will take yourself from being frumpy to super fabulous in no time. I do love that camel cashmere sweater paired alone, but as you'll see, it also looks amazing with the chocolate brown leather blazer. This leather blazer is a beautiful, high quality blazer. The price point is amazing, and it's actually a lot less expensive than you would think being a real leather blazer. So those were the five most common style mistakes that could be making you look frumpy and what you should do instead in order for you to look and feel like the most fabulous version of yourself. I hope that you guys enjoyed this this video. Please let me know what your favorite outfit was. Leave me a comment down below because I always love hearing from you guys. I want to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. There will also be a discount code listed down below in my description box and everything I did talk about will be linked down below in my description box. For more style information, you can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you guys have an amazing day because you deserve it and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.